What's up, water people? It's Red Erase back with an informative video. Today, it's on swim paddles. So you know how some girls and women have shoe fetishes or designer handbag fetishes? Well, I kind of have those too, but I also have a complete obsession with swim paddles. I don't know what it is. Some people love their fins. Some people have just a dozen different goggles. But for me, it's swim paddles. I love trying out the latest and greatest, the different designs, different sizes, different shapes, things that I can just throw into my swim training to mix it up and work on something different from day to day. So I know it's kind of confusing when you go to a swimming store or a website and you're looking at all these different variations of paddles and you're like, what do you use this one for? What can this one be used for? So Red is here to help you out, letting you know about eight or nine different swim paddles that I own. This is a non-sponsored video, just to kind of give you the pros and cons so that you can make an informed decision when you go to buy your next version of swim paddles or if you just want to change up your training with something new. Alrighty, first up we have a blast from the past. These are actually the swim paddles that I trained with in high school. That was so long ago. Swim paddles have come a very long way since then. But these are still oldies but goodies. These are the Speedo original training paddles. And this is actually a smaller size. They're basic rectangles. They have a little bit of curvature at the bottom. And this one actually does have the holes for the wrist strikes. But when I train, I actually just use the finger hole. I don't use actually a wrist strap but they do come with wrist straps. You can still find these online, although they are harder and harder to come by. But what's great about these is that they can be used for any stroke. They actually are a little bit easier on the shoulder because they're not a ginormous size. They're kind of a reasonable size. I have smaller hands, but my hands still almost wrap all the way around it. They do come in different sizes. And as you can see, they're configurable in terms of the straps to the extent that you can take off the wrist strap. So, Again, the, the cons is kind of that this is just kind of a basic paddle. They're a little bit harder to find, but they're great for people who maybe have a shoulder injury or just want to take it a little bit less on the resistance level. Okay, when Michael Phelps came out with his own line, I knew that I had to take advantage of it. I mean, the GOAT, right? You had to kind of just check out what his products were all about. And because I'm such a paddle hound, I definitely got his MP Swim Strength paddles. And these do come in different sizes. And let me tell you, you want to measure your hands. The first size that I got literally were like out to here. They were like snowshoes, okay? So I had to send them back in a different pair, but I love the neon colors, that's kind of fun. And what's unique about these paddles that some of my others don't have is that they do have a raised, if you can see that mound, that fits right in the center of your palm. So it almost mimics your natural hand position, at least what it should be, entering in the water. So it's, it's, it kind of has a nice natural hand shape. Uh, I do like the size of these. I do like all the holes so that there is some water flow so your hands can feel the water. And also it's not this humongous brick that you're swimming along with to put more stress on your shoulder. The straps are not that configurable. You could technically take off this entire hand strap down here, but I don't think you would get the same effect. So the only drawback is really that the hand straps are not that configurable. But other than that, I would say these are a good beginner paddle and I like how they mimic the hand shape. This is another Speedo panel. This is called the Clutch. And I kind of got these on a whim. I was like, well, this is kind of it's a fun, interesting, different style. And what I like about these is that it does have this little thumb garage here, which in theory would allow me to actually pull with just my thumb inserted into that little border or that garage. However, I did feel like that it was so big of a space that the pedal did waver. Even though I was, I think I was doing the right stroke technique, I still feel like it was wavering a little bit. So I did keep the finger strap in there. So I at least have kind of a backup of the finger strap and then the thumb holder as well. However, I personally don't like the shape of these. For some reason, it just doesn't jive with my freestyle stroke. And I found them difficult to use other strokes, like fly or breaststroke. I didn't find them all that conducive to training with other strokes. But one bonus that I did like is that the paddle extends a little bit longer than a traditional paddle. So it does help if you have kind of a wrist breakage problem in your freestyle, where you enter and then you really bend your wrist. This actually kind of at least acknowledges that you're doing that. It gives you kind of instant feedback that you're bending your wrist. So you can keep it more of a paddle forearm pull so that you're kind of getting that feedback instantly that you're breaking your wrist. So that's kind of a pro, but that's kind of the only pro with these Speedo ones. 
This is also a unique product. This is one of many fingertip paddles that are on the market. This is by Tier, and I don't use these that often. However, if you do, again, have an injury or you just don't want that much stress on your shoulders, but you still kind of want the effect of a paddle, fingertip paddles could be a good option for you. They literally just slip right on your hand at the end here. You can kind of put your fingers different ways. And you can really swim any stroke with these. I've swum fly, breast, although terribly, backstroke, freestyle, and there's not, again, that much stress on your shoulders. But what's great is that you do get a little bit of feedback when you're entering the water because you'll see and feel, you know, the paddle kind of wavering about if you're not having the proper entry. So that's another pro of these. But in terms of cons, I like to feel like I'm building muscle and I'm powering through the water. That's just what I like using paddles for. And you don't really get that sensation simply because that's not what these are designed for. But they do have their uses, so you may want to add them to your bag. All right, these are what I call my big guns or my oven mitts, okay? These are specially ordered. These are made by Athlete Approved. I ordered these maybe three or four years ago when I felt like I was dropping my elbow in freestyle. So I was like, oh my God, I need a forearm paddle. So it's one con is they're not easily available on like, you know, mass market sites. You definitely have to order them through Athlete Approved. But as you can see, they literally are a humongous forearm paddle. They cover fingertip to elbow, the entire thing, okay? You can see that right there. However, when you are swimming freestyle, you can imagine what kind of feedback this gives you right away. I mean, you have no choice, but to have an early vertical forearm with your freestyle. So if that's something that you're struggling with, I would highly recommend these forearm paddles by Athlete Approved. Would I use them for the entire practice? Heck yeah. Would I use them for more than just a 50 or a 100, you know, inserted in different sets? Probably not. I use these basically whenever I feel like I need just technique reinforcement. Every time I pull these out, I get looks upon looks from people on the deck, like, oh my gosh, she's wearing oven mitts. And that's kind of what I feel like, but definitely the benefit outweighs the weird looks. You might want to give these a try. I told you I was obsessed with paddles and no two are alike. This is the Finesse Freestyler paddle. These are still available. And these are, just as the name implies, specific to freestyle. And I don't use these too often. For me, they're not my favorite paddle. However, I can see, you know, in theory, how they're supposed to help you with your freestyle hand entry. Just making sure that you are entering in the beginning correctly, your hand position is proper, and it also does encourage extension with this kind of aerodynamic design. However, when I use these, I really have a tendency to wrap my whole hand around them, even though I'm telling myself not to do that and to keep kind of a natural hand shape, I just, I just naturally want to grab it. So that's kind of why I don't use these that often. The other reason is because I use paddles in multiple strokes in the same set when I'm practicing. And so I don't like having to switch these out, freestyle specific stroke, and then go to another paddle when I'm doing breaststroke or fly. So for me, these aren't my favorite paddle, but if you want to work specifically on the entry of your freestyle and also the extension phase, you may want to give these a try. We're moving along to my two favorite sets of paddles of all time. And as you can see, I've used a lot of different paddles. These are the Finesse Agility Paddles. And the first thing that you can notice right off the bat is that they're strapless. That is an amazing feature of these paddles. It's literally slip on and go. There's a little picture on here. I don't know if you can even see it but it shows the hand. Okay, this is how you put your thumb in there. So it's very, very easy, self-explanatory. And it's so nice when you have really tight intervals in your practice, your set, you can just whip these on and off and not have to fumble with any sort of straps or get anything you know, just in place. You can just slide these on and go. And they do come in different sizes, so you wanna measure your hand before you order these from Amazon or from these directly, or from swimoutlet.com, one of my favorite stores. You can get the right size, and you can also get smaller ones if you wanna work on maybe butterfly without as much stress on your shoulders, or if you want even bigger ones to kind of maximize that muscle building and freestyle. Different sizes for different strokes. But for me, I like just kind of the medium size. They have the, I don't know if they come with the two dots. When they first came out, they kind of managed sizes by the different dots. So for me, I use two dots. And I like how these are hard, they float, they're just very easy to grab. One plus for sure is the instant feedback. When you are doing freestyle, for example, and you're pulling through your stroke, you can actually feel it if you're not having the right amount of pressure or directional pressure on your palm. You can actually feel that because the paddle's gonna waver back and forth. So it's instant feedback. You can correct your stroke right then and there in the middle of the set. And I cannot say enough good things about these community paddles. So definitely check these out. 
But when I'm not using my Panisa Ability paddles, my number one go-to paddles are stroke makers. These are my favorite paddles in the universe. These, I think, come in six or seven totally different sizes. So whether you're a junior swimmer, uh, a master swimmer, anywhere in between, you can get a size that matches your hand size. Look at all these different holes that are on these paddles. So the straps are absolutely configurable. Right now, I just have these kind of centered. I have, which one is this, my right hand? I just put my middle finger in there, and then this is how I actually swim with my paddle. But if you wanted a wrist strap, if you wanted to do a cross your hand, some people do it as an X. I, you have a gazillion different ways that you can set these paddles up so that they're either more secure, less secure, you feel more of the water, you don't feel more of the water. They're just tremendous. And I've had these in my car when it's been really hot. I've had it in my garage when it's been really, really cold. And they haven't broken. They haven't had any sort of nicks or anything going on with them. They've lasted a very long time. And they do have left and right so that you know right away which one is for which hand. And I really can't say enough good things about these. If you've never heard of Stroke Makers, check them out. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at strokemakers.com. The website is right there on the paddle. So I didn't lie when I told you I had a million different sets of paddles, but each one has its own uses. And it's great to have a few in your bag. You don't need that many, but if you have a few in your bag, it's kind of nice to change up your training, try up a new product, see what's new, what's out there, what's innovative from all these different companies that are trying to make you the best swimmer that you can be. And look for future videos where I actually show you some drills using paddles, maybe some things that you've never thought of using your paddles for before, just to, again, change up your training, maybe jog something in your mind that connects you with a better way of swimming or a better way of doing your stroke. So look for definitely a future video incorporating some of the paddles that you've seen today. I wanna know what your favorite pedal is and why. So leave your comments below. I guarantee there's a lot more pedals out there that I didn't even review. And I'd love to hear what they are, what your pros and cons are, and what you're using every day in your practice to get better. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell so that you're notified of all my new videos I release on a weekly basis. Happy swimming.